talking about the 45th inning running of the Governor's Cup hitting the track tonight after being postponed due to weather three weeks ago. Good news, Xfinity Series champion Cole Custer was able to make the trip back for the race. It's just really cool how tight knit it is up here. You know, you have such a great, um, you know, local group that comes out here and races every weekend. Local fans, um, like you don't see that in a lot of parts of the country. I mean, how much support this track has. So it's really cool to see. Hopefully, we can get this Andy's Frozen Custard Ford Mustang up to the front. Um, but uh, these guys are going to make it hard for sure. Custer racing with the late models and definitely got to see how hard it was going to be right out of the gate. Reigning champion Scott Dragon got out to a commanding lead in the 150 lap Governor's Cup race. He led the entire first 90 raps for the first and only caution flag was waved, but that didn't stop Dragon. Unfazed, he finishes in first, claiming his fourth Governor's Cup in doing so, clinching the first ever Squire Cup in honor of Thunder Road's late founder, Ken Squire. I knew Ken pretty well. He helped me out 20 years ago, 25 years ago. And just what a great guy. I got handwritten letters that I've put away at home, you know, that he wrote to me, wrote to me over the years. And uh, just a great guy. And then, I mean, I didn't expect this. I was pretty shocked when they actually told me. So uh, it's an honor. It's a real honor. Back to back cups for Dragon. Also had a couple other races. The Street Stocks leading things off in the main card with a 25 lap exhibition. Headlined by an unlikely winner. Shout out to Jack Main for this tidbit right here. Patrick Tibbetts of Plainfield, Vermont, won by a landslide, but he also didn't make the race because he was flooded into his house, needed flatbeds and excavators to get his car out of the garage. He makes it to race night and gets his first win of the year. Wrapping things up with the Flying Tigers, Brandon Gray emerges victorious finishing off another Governor's Cup at the nation's site of excitement. We're still putting the pedal to the metal on the sports desk. Coming up, we're going to head out to Burlington.